Well, my presentation is really about an ongoing discussion that we are having with some members of the local government on redefining backlog in housing, because that's a big issue. But before I come to that, I'll just go through some figures on Pakistan. It's a large country, 212 million. It has an urban population of 75 million. And it has serious problems of housing. Its urban housing demand is 350,000 units. Formal sector supply, 150,000 units. And we are told that we have backlog of 8.5 million units a year. But to freeze the housing situation as it is today, we would require approximately 751, 752 million uh, dollars per year for the next 10 years, which is more or less an impossibility. Uh, national budget for housing was only 2.33 billion rupees, and the total amount that was available for housing with banks, etc., was US dollars. 105 million. So there is this very big gap between supply and demand. Government policy is increasingly about ex accessing the market. And for that, it has liberalized its loaning policies. But the poor uh, still cannot access the market due to an absence of collateral guarantees and formal sector jobs. What we are discussing is that if we redefine the factors that constitute the backlog, it will considerably be reduced, leading to a very different housing policy. And my organization, the Urban Resource Center, is working on this. Meanwhile, the new government in Pakistan is proposing to build five million houses in five years. The major problem it will face will be in the acquisition of land, which we can talk about and discuss later. This is not responding. Ah, it is. Uh, this is Karachi's central business district, uh, an image of this to give you an idea of what the city is like. This is the plan. Of, this is a satellite image of the city. And what you see in blue are the so-called squatter settlements. We try and not to call them squatter settlements now. And that the press has also caught into it. These are some of the demolished settlements. What you see here was a huge settlement that was demolished. It had a population of about 200,000. There were big protests in the city from civil society organizations as well against this. The people were relocated, and the relocation story is a very sad one. Many of the, the people who were relocated came back. We can discuss this later. These are the victims of that demolition. And I come to the Karachi housing backlog situation, which is what I wanted to discuss. The population of the city is 17 million. And its density is 3,900 persons per square kilometer. It requires 57,500 units per year for its growth. Its backlog conventionally cal calculated is 880,000. This can be overcome, we are told, by providing 88,000 units per year in 10 years. This is an impossibility. Backlog is considered as houses of temporary materials, but these can become permanent. Houses without a kitchen, but these can acquire a kitchen. Houses without sanitation, these can acquire sanitation. Backlog can be considerably reduced and a very different housing policy can be developed if all households having security or tenure or have been notified for it are not considered as part of the backlog. All households that can, can acquire it by small adjustments to policy are also not considered as part of the backlog. This is a city, this is an area of the city in which, which has been regularized and they have now security of tenure. The proposal that we are trying to push is, first of all, that housing policies for urban areas should be city or district specific. 
and the city should be divided into formally planned and informally planned areas. For formally planned areas, which is 6.5 million, a policy for densification should be developed. They should not be considered a part of the backlog. In formally planned areas, population 10.5 million should be divided into areas which have been regularized or which have been marked for regularization. These should be given advice and house improvement loans. Areas that can be regularized with small change in laws, regularization and infrastructure development should be pursued over a five-year period, including technical advice and managerial guidance. Areas that cannot be regularized, which are very few, relocation process should be developed. These are part of the backlogs. Areas suffering from overcrowding should not be considered as, back, uh, as, considered as part of the backlog. Loans and technical advice for improving homes and neighborhoods should be provided. Areas suffering from severe overcrowding Severe city government projects for replacement over a 20-year period should be financed as loans to the city government by the, by the federal government. We have a whole system of, giving, of community savings. It already exists, and their process should be linked to accessing loans for house improvements. We can talk about this if anyone is interested. Two lines. Hmm? Less than one minute. The most important ingredient of this proposal is the creation of special units that can provide technical assistance and managerial guidance to self-help house improvements and to informal developers. And uh, last slide, this is a case of an informal settlement which can be regularized with a very slight change in law. I'll let this go. These are acknowledgments. Thank you very much.